is it scientifically possible that you can be pregnant when you didn't actually sleep with your boyfriend yes it is scientifically possible Welcome to the Dear Dr. O Show, where I answer your questions with a sprinkle of humor, some medical wisdom, and plenty of love to go around. And today, as usual, we're going to be taking a letter from one lucky subscriber with the help of my spinning wheel. Uh, between 10 and 1. We can't take two letters today, so let me spin it one more time. Number one, I guess number one really wanted to feature on the shoe. So let's see what our number one letter says. Hmm. Dear Dr. O, I'm in deep trouble. I'm 21 and I haven't had real intercourse before. But I just found out I'm pregnant. My boyfriend and I only did dry humping and one time he fingered me. Hmm. You are very adventurous. Okay. But his hands were dry, or so I thought. Now I'm scared because I don't even know how it happened. I told him, and he says it's not possible. That maybe I was sleeping with someone else. That must be tough. My parents are going to finish me. Dr. O, please help me. Is this even scientifically possible this is a really tough situation you know what like i said sometimes i prefer to give my subscribers who write in pet names it's shy because we don't like to reveal, reveal their real names so i'll just call this person sarah sarah what have you been up to so you know well we listen we don't judge so let me not even go there but when people say they are celibate it looks like celibate has different categories because are you totally abstaining from all sexual activity or are you only abstaining from some in this case it looks like she went really close to the border it's just that she didn't cross it but unfortunately she got the results of someone who crossed that border i mean that abstinence or celibacy border so basically she's someone that has not slept she didn't have any intercourse with her boyfriend she hasn't slept with him before and she's pregnant and the boyfriend thinks she's sleeping around for this reason because it, it yeah that's reasonable like i never slept with you you can't tell me you're pregnant and she's even more confused because she's the one going through it and she's like how is it possible that i'm pregnant i didn't sleep with anyone and trust me nobody's going to believe her sarah if no one believes you trust me i believe you because i'm a doctor and i know that it is possible to get pregnant without having intercourse and i'll explain shortly but first let me talk to sarah sarah do not panic find someone in your family that you trust that would listen to you and sit them down and maybe share the video with them first so they can get the explanation before you explain yourself right so that that will sort of give you a soft landing because hmm, it's a bit complicated to explain this to an average person right um i know your family may be disappointed in you if they expect you know maybe you to have been celibate or something so i know what this can mean for you but just know that it's not the end of the world you getting pregnant is not the end of the world you have many options you know and you are not going to be the first person to go through this and i'm sure you won't be the last you just need a good support system and your boyfriend just needs to understand you know be more understanding and supportive and the truth is if he is denying the pregnancy or if he's in denial there's the option of a dna test yes we have something called uh prenatal dna testing i'm not going to talk about that in this video because i would address it in another video but yes there's that option of prenatal dna testing if he wants if you want to test check for paternity before the baby is born or you can choose to wait till after the baby is born and do the regular you know paternity tests that are done after the baby is done but i won't dwell on that what i want to explain to you because you asked is it scientifically possible that you can be pregnant when you didn't actually sleep with your boyfriend yes it is scientifically possible so sarah engaged in a 
sexual activity called dry humping where usually the male and the female genitals come in contact so they are basically facing each other and usually not wearing any underwear and rubbing on each other no penetration just rubbing sometimes they are wearing underwear but sometimes it's without underwear so in the course of this of course when the male her male partner gets stimulated he could possibly you know ejaculate and release semen or even pre-ejaculatory fluid something that the layman calls precon right and sometimes that also contains semen now if that semen comes in contact with her own private parts especially maybe somewhere around the entrance of her private parts and there is some cervical mucus around there right and it so successfully swims through the cervical mucus and goes up into her private parts then if she's ovulating she could well get pregnant right there's nothing stopping her from getting pregnant if she's not using any form of contraception once sperm that is contained in the semen can get in contact with cervical mucus that is in the private parts right or around the private part and swims successfully you know up to go and fertilize the egg then pregnancy is happening remember that men ejaculate as much as 40 million to 200 million sperm in one ejaculate right and out of these 200 million you only need one sperm to successfully swim so remember that in the semen we're not having one sperm trying to swim to the cervical mucus we're having millions of sperm so yes there's a chance out of millions even one can successfully swim through and get to the egg so that's why it's advised that when you are engaging in any type of sexual activity that involves genital contact even without penetration you should always use protection or use contraception if you don't want to get pregnant right he she also mentioned that he fingered her and she thought his hands were dry it's possible that his hand could have come in contact with semen and then he fingered her that semen on his fingers has found free transports inside her private parts now if this semen that contains sperm the sperm successfully swims through the cervical mucus and she's ovulating she can get pregnant so i'm sure you can see how pregnancy is possible even without actual penetration so that's why it's important not to play any dangerous games in the bedroom especially when you're not using protection right because that's how we've seen people that said they were virgins and by virgin it means you've never had penetrative intercourse they found themselves getting pregnant because they were engaging in all these other extracurricular activities in the bedroom that they didn't know could lead to pregnancy so for the most part pregnancy usually happens with penetration but in rare cases it could happen without penetration in cases like this one then go where i've seen a real life example and i've talked about this before and i've seen so many people come up in the comments and say yes this has happened to me this has happened to someone i know i get so many dms like sarah's own where people are telling me that this happened and they are scared of getting pregnant and if you have actually confessed to getting pregnant through this method and no one ever believed them yeah it sounds mysterious but if you think about it scientifically if you look at the facts there's nothing mysterious about it pregnancy can easily happen through any of these things so we need to be careful so sarah i'm really sorry that you had to go through this i wish somehow you had come across this information before the incident happened so maybe you'd have protected yourself better right but please speak with uh, a trusted family member um and you know explain your situation to them Sharing this video with them might also help them to understand better, hearing from an expert that it is possible. And if in doubt, a DNA test will solve the problem of paternity. Yes, your boyfriend might be shocked. It might be an unwelcome surprise for him, but it is what it is. Okay? To my subscribers, have you ever heard of this situation where someone got pregnant without intercourse? Or has this ever happened to you? Please share with us in the comments. We would really like to know. And that's it for today. Remember, if you have any questions, funny stories, dilemmas that you'd love to share, please feel free to slide into my DM. Details are right here on the screen. And I'll be more than happy to answer your question on the Dear Dr. O series. But till next time, stay healthy.